all poets, welcome. Welcome poetry lovers and friends of poets. Welcome to the West End Poetry Festival, virtual open mic for 2020. I'm Paul Jones. Poets, poetry, and poetry readings are all prone to wander. The first modern open mic as we know it was 1960 in the New York's Lower East Side at the 10th Avenue Coffee House. Those readings wandered from coffee house to coffee house until they, in 1964, ended up at Cafe della Metro. There, poets immediately had to organize resistance to New York's oppressive coffee house licensing laws. By 1966, the poets had prevailed, but also the coffee house had closed. Paul Blackburn, who was the spirit of community, poetry, and general poetry poet Wrangler, started the Poetry Project at nearby St. Mark's Episcopal Church on the Bowery. Fifty years later, that project is still ongoing. Carborough, too, has a long history of open mic readings. I ran a series for nearly a decade, starting in the late 70s, at first in the Art Center, whose home was above what's now Armadillo Grill. We wandered to the Cat's Cradle, which was then on Rosemary Street, then back to Carborough, where the Art Center had moved to Carmel Mall, and finally to the Hardback Cafe and Bookstore in faraway Chapel Hill. In 2005, Carborough Port Laureate Patrick Heron started an ambitious Carborough International Poetry Festival. The West End Poetry Festival is a direct descendant of Patrick's founding festival. And we have wandered too, now having wandered to YouTube. Since its New York beginnings, open mic readings have been about community, varieties of people, varieties of voices, and varieties of poetry. In Paul Blackburn's readings, the Beats, the New York School, the Deep Image Poets, and the Black Mountain Poets all came together and met each other at such open mics. Imagine Allen Ginsberg and John Ashbery, Ron Paget and Ann Wallman, Charles Olson and Amini Baraka, who we then known as Leroy Jones, Frank O'Hara and Donna De Prima. At our readings, expect confession, proclamation, chastisement, affection, humor, directness, allusion, illusion, and some confusion. What you will hear and watch on our YouTube channel will be different than what you'd hear in a coffee house. After all, video is a cool medium, according to Marshall McLuhan. Some of our poets will take their highly performative presentations directly into the video. Others will use the coolness of the medium to achieve an intimacy you could never achieve in a coffee house. Others who write a more literary style of verse will encourage you to look at the text of their poetry, which will be accessible by link or by text in the description or comment section of their posting. Speaking of comments and descriptions, be sure to like, comment on, and share the videos by the poets that you like with your friends. Open mics and poetry are about building community. And in these times of physical distance, community is especially important. We all need each other. You can learn more about the poets and see their photographs, in case you can't see them enough in the video, at West End 
poetryfestival.com. Now let the latest wandering poetry readings begin as we go from poet to poet, from location to location in the West End Poetry Virtual Open Mic for 2020. Thank you.